Hard to believe, but there's now just 42 days until Christmas, meaning the clock is ticking for buying those holiday gifts. As we brace ourselves for the malls and outlets, the Franklin Business and Professional Women's Group is working to help moms prepare that holiday budget. WBKO Sarah Phibbs joined them today to learn the best ways to shop in a winter wonderland. Well, as women, we like to overgive and overdo. And we're often faced with being the sole Santa in the family. And, you know, we, we want to give more. And if we followed a budget and have bought all our gifts for people, we tend to then think about adding a few more. Altasia Clay and Chris McCoy, president and vice president of the Franklin Business and Professional Women's Group, offered several tips for helping your wallet this holiday season. Clay's biggest piece of advice, have a basic plan for what all you'll be buying and spending and be sure to keep track of your expenses. Because that can help them save money in the end because then they know what they need to budget for. Um, we talked about meal prepping and other things to where, you know, they can create a budget and that'll help them going forward. And like I always tell people, you know, Christmas is December 25th, bills are going to be due come January first. So you got to prepare and be ready for those. Clay also advises if you're guilty of going into stores and overspending, bring in a set amount in cash to give yourself a hard limit. That's going to cut out those extra deals that you see that you just want just because. So take a set amount and um, always talk yourself out of it. For McCoy, she advises shopping your closet for a potential re-gift or giving something more sentimental like your time or an experience to save a few bucks. Perhaps couldn't can't afford a $30 item, which isn't a lot, but to some people $30 is their, you know, water bill or what have you. So, you know, you can perhaps get, and there's nothing wrong with re-gifting. You might have gotten a gift that's not your taste, but you certainly know someone who loves butterflies, but to someone else, oh, that's a moth that sprouted, so. Reporting in Franklin, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News.